This is a bit of an awkward start of the vlog, but the audio got so bad in this scene that I just couldn't use it. It jittered and it was really bad. So I'm just going to voice over this part here. In this scene, you can see the plastic injection machines for the switches in the background. I'm grabbing one of the stems that is being produced by this particular injection machine. This machine runs fully automatic, so it can produce tons of switches without any manual labor involved. Basically, after each shot, there's an automated arm above the machine that grabs out the plastic grid and removes the stems so it can do its next injection. I'm going to walk behind the machine and show you this grid, but be aware, the audio is going to be a lot louder now. No, oh, it's still hot, it's just fresh. Oh, oh. God, burning my skin. Oh, oh. Okay, so this here is what you call... Actually, I don't know the name for it, but this is the whole grid, and this is part of the whole mold. So you can see that this is inside the mold. The plastic injection starts from here, and then it spreads out into all the cavities, which are the switch stems. I'm not sure where the injection point is. I think it's somewhere here. So this is what have, what's inside the mold. And then there's one piece on every one of these pistons here. And then it's, this is picked out, this is pushed out, thrown away, and used. So here we can see the raw material that goes into the machine. So these are actually the plastics that are used for the injection. To be exact, this is nylon. Uh, this is nylon plastic, which is very often used for switches in the bottom case or sometimes in the top case. So here you can see a, a pipe going into the raw material and this actually sucks up the material all the way into the feeder. And then that's the feeder we were talking about yesterday that feeds into the piston that injects the plastic. So now let's take a look at how the switch is assembled. It's very noisy here, but we're in the assembly room and behind me we have the assembly machine for the liquor switch. As you can see, there are four feeders on this machine and in the center there is a station where the switch gets assembled. So let's take a look how the switch is assembled. Starting off with the feeder. So the feeder is basically a vibration plate with a reel on top of it. What it does is orientate the stem into the right direction so it can be fed here into the machine so that when it's installed the machine knows exactly how the stem is orientated. If the stem isn't orientated correct then it just drops off to the bottom and goes through the reel again. You wouldn't call this the, the roller coaster, so this is like the stem roller coaster. There's a feeder for every switch part, so the switch has in total four different parts that is assembled by the machine. So if we look at the center point of the assembly machine, in the center point you can see that there is a big circular plate with eight jigs on it. In those jigs, the bottom case is installed and every other part of the switch is installed on top of it. As you can see, it starts there on the top where it installs the bottom case into the jig and then it turns counterclockwise towards the spring picker where the spring is installed onto the bottom case. Then, very cool, this little one here already does a quality control on the spring to say if it's okay or not okay. Then it goes to the semi-final part which is the stem together with the top case is installed on the whole switch. And then in the final part, all the way to the right, the switch is taken out and dropped into the tube where the switches come out from the tube into the bucket. And that's how we make a lecker switch. 